Good day, mates and matehats, and welcome back to Fishing for Icebergs. Uh, today, I have the next installment of Let's Build. So, let's begin on that. Now, as you can see here, I've done some extensive building around the back of the build. But, if you've been following my channel and you've seen the real-time builds, there's really only one building that you're interested in, so I'll show you that first. And that is, for the uneducated among you, the completed town hall. I am very happy with how this build has gone. As you can see, the structure does not follow the standard uh, colouring. It has instead uh, quartz on uh, stone brick, uh, which is a nice change from the rest of the build. The flooring is also different, as here on the balconies and on the main floor, stone slabs are used. Uh, the three balconies around the side are held up with pillar sections, which also provide lighting, and the two side balconies have these staircases leading up to the second level. If we look at the side of the build, you'll see that it is uh, quartz and clay detailed with stone brick. Let's just give it a quick fly around on the bottom floor. If you look up near the top, you'll notice that there's glass, which just adds a little bit of transparency to the build. Looking at the top floor, you'll notice that this is different. Instead of having glass, it has uh, open spaces, and these lead in to a dark oak balcony section. Everything is lit by these glowstone chandeliers. And here you have the inside view of the dome. The dome is a perfect sphere, uh, like as far as is possible in Minecraft and I will show you a tutorial for that at a later date. Now the main floor of the town hall is both the seating of the town, of the town's leaders, and a courtroom sort of thing. There is this red carpet leading up to what I imagine is a plaintiff's stand, where a person may present their arguments to the three main town leaders who will be seated in front of them, and the other members of the council and higher members in the community who will sit behind and to the side of them. This is an effect which would make the plaintiff feel less important and as such less in control and less likely to lie. If we look at the actual table now, you'll note that it is built of stone brick and that there is this raised section here as we lead up to the more important seats. Uh, this gold detailing here just helps to break from the uh, grey colour and adds some nice variation to the build. And that's really all I have to say for this, so I hope you like this building, I'm a big fan, big, big fan. But then I always like my own stuff, that's how creation works. Well, not really, but whatever. Anyway, next to the town hall, we have the mayor's house. Uh, the mayor has this small uh, fenced off garden which is very nice. And then if you head inside, he has this kitchen area and a dining table here, as well as a small bathroom. On the upper floor is, like many houses, the bedroom, which is just, you know, very standard. And then also this small rooftop garden section. There's also a door over here, if he wishes to get onto the roof. And maybe run across this tree and escape. Uh, the house 
is made of quartz uh, with stone brick detailing. Uh, the detail is very minimal as the first floor has only outlay and the upper floor is small. The building just here is not a house, seeing as that's the town hall and this is the mayor's house. I thought it appropriate to have transport nearby, and hence we have a stable, which is just a very simple structure with a dirt floor and horses, hay bales, you know, stable. Huh. Now we move around to here, where we have this uh, barracks at the edge of the town. There's a bathroom, which is pretty standard, and then the actual barracks section. The beds here are three high, uh, small kitchenette, I guess, and the tower. Uh, it is designed like all the others. Here we have one of sort of like a pretty nice house, two side sections and the centre section raised an extra floor with the standard bottom floor living space, upper floor bedroom that has become my style for this build. We have the same thing in this house here. I'll just quickly show you the inside. This one also has a small bathroom. And of course, bedroom. This street is a dead end, leading to a small storehouse, which I imagine is shared by these two houses, for whatever purpose, and maybe the barracks. As you'll notice, uh, this road is extra wide, because I imagine that this is the main road into the town. This is why, besides the barracks, none of the doors open directly onto the road, and rather there are these small uh, dead ends here and further up. Uh, the other dead end is this road here, off which leads this house, which is rather nice. There's a small study area here. And of course, the upstairs bedroom, which I won't bother showing you. And this house here, which is interesting because I've had both of the roofs face in one direction, whereas the standard is for one of the roofs to face in each of the two Minecraft dimensions, main dimensions. Uh, the inside of this house is quite nice. It's got a small table, it's got a large study area, and bedroom. The other house over here I'll show you later. Over here we have some more houses that I've built. There's this one which has its own small garden section and then you know is the standard build. <clears throat> the next house is interesting because instead of just being standard, it has a small tower section. Uh, don't know why, but I go to pink windows. But you come in, it's got this table, kitchenette, other desk sort of area. And then it raises up through a library and a very small bedroom. There is a trapdoor leading up to... Oh, rather nice tower section. This house here <coughs> is very small, but I think it's offset by having its own little reading alcove, <coughs> its own little reading alcove, and other than that, just being sort of cosy, really. Now the rest of the houses that I've built so for this particular episode
face onto this L-shaped piece of road here. And as you'll notice, they all have signs out the front of them. Now, the reason for this is that this is the first side of the 2B village square. And, or green, or whatever term you use. And as such, there are more shops along here. I imagine these to be the travel agent, Lel, uh, the potion shop, uh, I don't know, some sort of horse shop place, and one of the green grocers, which links on to that other house I showed you. So I'll just go through them. Travel agent, you'll sit here, you'll approach the window, there'll be someone behind it, who'll be like, yeah, you can go there. Then you go up, and uh, yeah, the bedroom's very small here, but uh, there's also this nice study section. Oh, I tricked you. I tricked you, didn't I? Oh, shut up, Angus. Yeah, small kitchenette. Very small building, but you get the idea. Same sort of thing in here, except that there are shelves and brewing stands. Uh, this would be the counter where you'd pay for the stuff that you buy off the shelves or from the chests. And this is actually a pretty extensive upper floor. Moving on, the horse shop is just a shop. Very generic, very small. Obviously not a popular service. And finally we get to here. Uh, this one is a very nice house, and it's unique because it's three floors. Uh, you have a pretty standard shop. Uh, I use black uh, carpet for the shelving, and chests also help give the impression of, you know, merchandise. Again, you have a small counter that the shopkeeper can get in and out of, where you would pay for your goods. You then come through here, you have a kitchenette on this level. You then head up one floor, and you have a study area, as well as some nice tulips, and the bedroom. And off the bedroom is the ensuite, with a cold basin and a hot basin. Not perfect, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. And then if you head up one more floor, this actually has an attic. Uh, this is just because the design of this house meant it had a really tall upper floor, so I decided to section it off and give it an attic space with this storage. And I'm quite happy with this, I think it looks nice. And so that's it for another episode of Let's Build. Uh, lots of buildings got done this time. Uh, Mayor's house and the Fortress, huge number of houses, and of course, the town hall. I'm still very happy with this. Uh, if you have liked this series, please press the appropriate buttons. And uh, I guess I'll see you next time. I wonder what I'm going to build now. Alright, have a good day, mates.